estimated that the Milky Way galaxy contains at least 100 billion stars within it. Out of this huge number, scientists recently discovered an anomaly. The name of this strange star is Kik 84.62852, also known as the WTF star and also known as Tabby's star. What makes the star so strange? By looking at the evolution of main sequence stars as they age, the luminosity of the star, which is how bright a star truly is, generally increases as a main sequence star ages. Older stars are brighter, younger stars are dimmer. What is happening around Tabby's star, however, is that scientists are observing that the luminosity of the star is decreasing by as much as 20% over the course of the last 100 years, which goes against stellar evolutionary models. This means that something is causing the light from the star to dip, and that something must be very big. So what do we know about Tabby's star? It is an F-type, main sequence star, which means that it is a yellow-white star. It is located in the Cygnus constellation, 1480 light years from Earth. This means that we are currently looking at the star as it appeared 1480 years ago. It is also slightly larger and more massive than our star, and is predicted to be several billion years old. So what is causing the brightness of the star to go down? Some have noted a close stellar companion star close by to Tabby's star, which may be disrupting a vast belt of comets near the star. While this hypothesis is possible, the amount and size of the comets needed to continuously drop the star's luminosity by 20% is a huge amount, around 648,000 comets each at least 200 kilometers wide, which seems to be unlikely. A planetary formation disk would be unlikely as well, if the star is indeed a main sequence star as all debris would have been cleared at this stage of its life. However, at 1,480 light years away, it is possible that the age of the star is actually younger than predicted. So until follow-up studies can confirm its age, it cannot be dismissed. On top of this, a system of planets with a gigantic ring system could be causing dips. Such ring systems are known to exist elsewhere. A good example of this being J1407b, which has a ring system 200 times larger than Saturn's and was observed to block 95% of its parent star's light. Despite these explanations, none seem very likely in reality. Other proposed explanations such as interstellar dust or an unseen star are all just as likely at this point in time. However, there is one other explanation which could explain the data observed. A Dyson sphere, which is an extraterrestrial shell encircling the star, would block a large portion of the starlight. Since a solid shell would likely cause a much bigger drop in light, a Dyson swarm is more likely. This swarm is likely still under construction, as over the last 100 years, the light is still dimming. Scientists from SETI have already scanned the system for infrared and radio signals, with none found. This means that a traditional Dyson swarm is unlikely as well. So how likely is the alien explanation? Personally, I think that a natural explanation will be found. It is much simpler and more likely, considering all the variables that come into play when hypothesizing aliens. On top of this, we've had many false alarms in the past. PSR B1919 plus 21 was the first pulsar observed. At the time of its discovery, scientists thought that the constant radio signals they kept hearing could be by extraterrestrials. It was nicknamed LGM1, short for Lil Green Men. Another star with strange light dips was Kik 411 After several follow-up studies, this star was found to contain a quintuple star system. Occam's razor suggests that among competing hypotheses, the one with the fewest assumptions should be selected. So while extraterrestrial megastructures cannot be ruled out presently, and it makes for a fascinating exercise in observations of a hypothetical civilization, it should not be any more likely than the other explanations currently put forward. So what do you think is the explanation behind Tabby Star? Leave a comment below with your thoughts, and thanks for watching.